It's a fact. World population is increasing, though the rate of population growth is slow. 2.5 people are added to the Earth each second. Another billion people will have been added by the year 2011. Central to the theory of the commons is the much larger idea that there are real limits to the world's resources. Human history shows that just when population growth has been growing the fastest in the past couple of hundred years, we have also had the fastest rate of growth in all improvements. Longer life, better health, more available resources. Though it's entirely anti-commonsensical, there are no known physical limits to these processes of growth and improvement going on indefinitely. There is no mystery to biologists that there is a finite capacity of Earth to support human beings given a given lifestyle. Everybody understands that. Everybody understands that the population explosion is going to come to an end. What they don't know is whether it's going to come to an end primarily because we humanely limit births or because we let nature have her way and the death rate goes way up. I think very much as a biologist and I worry about how fast humans are destroying that which taught took millions and billions of years to create. Although they may say, yes, we want to uh, conserve resources, they also want to have three cars, uh, a big house, nice clothes, and uh, lots of uh, electronic equipment. Ultimately, we are going to have to limit the number of human beings on this planet. Why not do it earlier so that we have a more quality of life? Reproduction is a right of the individual which may not be set aside by society. Then you're saying there's a human right to be free to make reproductive choices, but with very dangerous consequences for all the rest of us. And that's sort of a classic ethical conflict. I have my rights, but the exercise of them could gravely jeopardize the interests of others, including my own children and my own grandchildren. Go ahead and send money to a starving country if you want to, but just be willing to accept the fact that the starvation and the suffering will be greater in subsequent years because of what you've done. As, as technology advances, we find that a lot of problems that were problems before aren't, and we also find that new problems are introduced. There was always a technological solution in the past. We can never guarantee that there'll be a technological solution. But I would say the burden of proof is on those who say there isn't, given that there always has been a past. Technology is not an endless solution. At the United Nations Conference on Population and Development in Cairo, Egypt, attending nations issued a statement to the world. One, limit your population growth. And two, control your consumption of resources. But we all are looking for scapegoats. We in the United States say, your population is increasing too dramatically, too fast. They, in turn, look at us and say, you waste too many resources per individual. We are both right. Here is a real opportunity for the next generation to solve this problem that we haven't been able to solve.